Hey you guys, Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with August uh, Q&A responses. Uh, it's been a very busy month. I just would like to say thank you to everyone who contributed to this. Steve Weavy Baby kicks it off. What's the wheel diameter of freight cars? I've been really busy with work and I did not have time to look up this question, but um, I will actually be doing a follow-up video on that answer in one of my next announcement videos. So I will have to put that question on hold for the time being. But how many steam locomotives have you seen and which ones were they? I have not. I've only seen a few. Strasbourg 90, the 611, the 1218, and a Norfolk and Western. Um, let me think here. Um, the NW 475, just to name a few. Uh, have you thought about attending a Lyra Productions photo charter? And you can see we had a... Um, um, I had a little correspondence. I'm not sure how to proceed with this question. I'll have to do some research on that one later. So I will do a follow-up on the diameter of freight cars question for you. So uh, thank you, Steve, for your questions. Trayman3985 comes in with a list of questions. Thank you very much. He's a new guy on the block. Good to see you, buddy. What's your favorite locomotive rebuild by NS? ACU, 60E, and the 40E. Favorite phone play that's now owned by... UPNS and CSX. For CSX is the SAL. NS is the Southern. And for UP, has to be Southern Pacific. If you had your own railroad, what would you name it? That's a cool question. Um, well, I would sort of name it um, the Tidewater Branch Railroad, just because it's where I live. Um, if you had to pick a favorite modern GE, what would you pick? The Tier 4 or the ES44? Tier 4. What's your favorite EMD engines from 3 each generation? Hmm. SD40-2, GP38-2, GP40-2. They're my top three. What do you think of the Siemens SC44 chargers? Pieces of junk. I don't like them or the EMD F125s. What got you interested in trains and railroads? Thomas. Thank you. Thomas was it. Model Trains is one of them. And plus, you know, just reading a lot of books got me into it. Do you like UK railroads and engines? They are actually unique. I like the fact that they've got the double cab where the engine can go either way. If you were to build a model railroad, what scale would you choose? Definitely HO or O gauge because they're my favorite two scales. Of all the heritage units running today, what's your favorite and least favorite of UP and all those? CSXs I don't like. UP and NS nailed all of theirs, and I also like Amtrak's, except the Phase 3 for Amtrak. They should have put the Phase 3 on an F40. What was it about Penn Central that you didn't like? They were just, just a disaster from the start. Um, you can go back at any time of railroad era, what would you choose and why? Definitely the steam age, because the steam engines were the king of American railroads for a long time. Uh, what steam locomotive are you looking forward to see running again? Obviously the CNO 1309. Um, and I would not mind like to see the 1218 run again, if the funds allow it. If you could bring back an under, underrated steam engine back to steam, which would you choose? NNW 1218. So... Thank you, sir, for your question. And please come back and ask more questions, guys. Please. Stephen Casey Railfan comes back. Good to see you again, buddy. Do you like construction vehicles? Oh, yeah. And there's one name that sticks to construction. Caterpillar. I love Caterpillar. Which paint scheme looks the best on the Dash 8s? NS, Conrail, and CSX Y and 2. When was the last time you've seen a high hood? Probably a couple, three years ago. Do you have any least favorite model train scales? I'm not into N and Z scale just because they're tiny. They're just too tiny. S gauge is pretty cool, but nobody talks about that, and neither do G scale. G scale, nobody talks about. Which would you like better, C40-8 and ATS at Blue Bonnet or Chessie System? ATS at Blue Bonnet. You like fishing ships? Heck yeah. Now, what what is one steam engine you haven't seen and would like to see? Mm -hmm. Big Boy, the 4014. Pearl Marquis 1225 or the NKP 765? 765. Thoughts on the upcoming ALC's 42s? 
that might be the um the the um the Acela twos on. Um, confirm that in the comments section, please. Uh, the GP fifty or the thirty eight? Definitely the thirty eight. Who has better K five LS NS or Amtrak? Actually, both. Do you like watching the rail stream and virtual rail fan camps? Oh yeah, it's rail fan at your fingertips. Um, La Plata is good. Ashland is one of the local camps. That's a few hours, um, few hours from my house, but I get to see that. And I also like the uh, the La Plata cam and the Deschler cam. Let's see. Do you have a favorite NS commercial? I like What's Your Function and City of Possibles. I like both of those. Uh, if you had to choose between vanilla cake or red velvet, which would you choose? Vanilla cake. Do you like or dislike the PRT1 duplexes? Mm. They were interesting. They were interesting. Now, the C30-7 or the C39? C39. Thoughts on the 50th anniversary of Pier 6 NS Yellow Coal Hopper? I remember when that was done. I have yet to see it. Uh, it's one I would really, really like to see. Do you have any military vehicles that you like? Uh, the Humvees, all the big trucks, a uh, lot of interesting equipment that the military uses. They, that's always interesting to me, too. Um, would you rather bring back 4610 or 3329 back into their special schemes? Oh, you know it. What are you looking forward to this fall season? More trains um, in the fall setting with leaves falling as well as the cooler weather. So thank you, Stephen, for your questions. Please continue to come back and ask questions, guys. Um, Railfan for Life Productions comes back. Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Uh, favorite 60 Heritage units out of the three, 6920 and 911. Favorite CSX Heritage units. Actually, I like all three of theirs. The 911, 1776, and the 3194. On a steam engine, w would you rather be a fireman or engineer? Definitely an engineer. And everybody knows about 2156 going back to St. Louis. Um, I have no comment about that. So I was upset about it, but you know something? What can I do? Nothing. Um, so thank you, sir, for your questions. Southeast Virginia Rail Fanning comes in with just with just two questions. Whoops, I hit that by mistake. Thoughts on BNSF's 25th anniversary unit? I really don't have a good answer for that. But I prefer the Lehigh, well, Lehigh Valley and the Reading were good railroads. I like the Reading because of the B-Line service scheme. So thank you for your questions. CSAO Kid Productions comes in. Good to see you again, buddy. Uh, what's your favorite tourist railroad? Tourist railroad? Uh, Strasburg is one of them. What is your oldest model train that you own? Man, i got to go back and go take a look at all my stuff. Um, favorite Amtrak route and train? The auto train, Amtrak 52 and 53. Um, favorite lasher that you've seen? Four SD40-2s about two or three years ago on a hopper train. Um, favorite leasing locomotive? Mm, well, favorite leaser is HLCX or First Junior Rail Corp. HLCX is Helm Financial Company. Favorite steam locomotive? NNWJ611. So thank you, sir, for your questions. The switch list comes in with some questions. He's a brand new guy. Good to see you, buddy. Which is better? Hmm. Uh, Emperor of the Polar, Polar, Polar Express, Unstoppable, or Runaway Train? I love the Polar Express and Unstoppable. I love seeing those movies. Ninjas or Samurai? I'm not sure what you're referring to here. Legos or the Erector Set? I like Legos. Mayonnaise or Miracle Whip? Mayonnaise. Specifically, Hellman's Mayonnaise. AC or DC traction motors? Um, I gotta say here, I like both, because both are different. Archie or Richie Rich? Not sure on that one. PC or a Mac? Oh, definitely a Mac. I love Apple iOS or Android? iOS. Anything with electronics? It has to be Apple for me. BMW or Mercedes? Gotta go with, um, gotta go with BMW here. Um, I'm not sure about CAD rail, any rail, or other, but please be more specific on that. Um, 
But thank you very much for your questions. Please come back and ask more questions, guys. Tag username comes in. It's uh, good to see you, buddy. Whoops. Hit the button by accident. Um... Good day to you, man. Hope you're well today. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for asking. Do you like wrap of any kind? As long as it's clean. Do you often see people do things around rare crossings that bothers you? Um, I have seen a little bit. I've seen a little bit. You know, driving around gates and walking on railroad tracks. And it, it does bother me. Because I'm concerned about not only my safety, but for other rail fans' safety as well. Is there something you enjoy that most people do not don't know or know about you? Well, first of all, I have a proud Eagle Scout, and um, one of the things I've always liked doing is building things out of wood and also repairing things around the house. Do you prefer the cabooses with the cupola on top or the ones with a flat top? I like both because they're interesting. Did you have any pet? Do you have any pets as a child, or do you have one now? I had a dog until I was nine, and then she died, but I don't have any pets now. Do you think Bigfoot exists? Hmm. I'm not sure, but the monster truck exists. I do like monster trucks. And one other thing that um, people don't know about is because I, I actually like monster trucks. I've, I used to be in the racing a long time. So, um, what language do you wish you were fluent in? Definitely Spanish. Last movie you watched? Oh, boy. I'm not into movies too much now, but uh, one of the ones um, that I watched... Man... It, it's been a long time since I've been to the movies. Now, what's your least favorite thing about your favorite season? For the summertime, hot weather. What convinced you to start posting your videos on YouTube? That's a good question. It was actually through a friend of mine. He and I watched Trains videos and said, you ought to get a YouTube channel. So one afternoon after I finished rail fanning, I remember one that day it was cold. I went inside, set up an account, and I was good to go. And... This fellow was actually able to help me get started. That's the Colwyn place on YouTube. That's my good friend Mark. Um, yeah, please give him a subscribe as well. He does a lot of the same territory as I do. Um, a lot of the Tidewater stuff. So he's a really good one that helped me get started. Um, is there a season you would like to have all year? Definitely spring. Have you met anyone famous? Yes, I have. Uh Dennis Anderson, the driver of Grave Digger Monster Truck, I've actually met him. Uh, uh, I actually met him at a local event. Do you consider yourself more of an indoors or an outside? More of an outside guy, because I like going out and doing things. Do you like hiking? I actually think it's pretty good. There, if so, are there any places near you to like to hike at? Oh, yeah. I like just to get out and just enjoy nature and the beautiful, quiet sounds. Oh, yeah. Favorite cartoon? Tom and Jerry and all the Looney Tunes uh, with um, Mel Blanc. Uh, what's your least favorite subject when you were in school? Had to be math because math was hard for me. Do you like Chinese takeout? No, I don't like Chinese at all. But I do like the Japanese um, hibachi grill. Electronic or analog clocks? Analog clocks. Do you consider yourself introverted or extroverted? I'm not sure. I have to do some thinking on that. Do you like surprises? Oh, yeah. Science fiction or fantasy? I'm more of a fantasy guy. I also like um, nonfiction. Do you prefer old literature or newer literature? I actually don't mind both because every time you read something like that, it's something a little bit different. Is there a particular railway you wish operated where you lived? Well, I just wish I lived during the times of the, of the old Southern. Um, the last book you read, hmm, I think it's it's called Getting to Yes. It's a kind of an inspirational book that kind of encourages you to, to um, learn how to get a good give a good answer to someone when they ask you a question. And lastly, for him, do you prefer Rolling Stock that is clean or Rolling Stock that has graffiti all over? Well, the older Rolling Stock tells a story. The newer, it just shows you that they're brand new and they're trying to promote a business. But the older ones are sometimes the, one, the most unique because the older rolling stock, if they could talk, those cars can tell a real story. So, part one will end right here. Questions look good so far, guys. We will pick it up with part two in just a bit. All right. We'll see you guys in part two.